Hi folks, this is all the fruit and today I have a couple pears for you. A couple pears which coincidentally seem to be quite typical for the countries they were bred. Here I have the conference pear from Britain which already disintegrated a little bit on one side. Usually they are considerably, well, it was a couple centimeters longer. I decided to still put it in the video, despite the fact that half of it rotted away. Yeah, a British pear, very typical for Britain, and we'll find out why. Costia, a small Italian pear, very typical for Italy. And, well, this one is a little bit more difficult. It seems to be the Forelle pear, which was um, 200 years ago called the national fruit of Germany. But on the label it said Forelle Alessia. Alessia is a modern German um, breed, a modern German variety. I don't know, it's a little bit early for Alessia, but I guess it must be some sort of hybrid between a more traditional Forelle and Alessia. Okay, let's go through all those um, pear varieties. First, the conference pear. It was bred about a hundred years ago in Britain, and it's really well adapted to British climate. It can grow in quite wet and cold conditions compared to many other pear varieties. It can self-pollinate, or no, wait, it's, uh, I think it's Parthenocarpi. Yeah, it can propagate by Parthenocarpi, which is quite good in cold, wet climates, when in spring you don't have the proper weather for bees to fly around. And yeah, that's why it's still the most um, popular pear for uh, pear plantations in Britain. It's also quite popular in Germany because, of course, parts of Germany have a pretty British climate. It's still one of the most popular pears in Germany. The pear Kostia is actually a yeah, late summer pear, but <clears throat> in storage it can last till October. Now we have the end of September, so those pears have been harvested weeks ago and have been in storage. Kostia is a good pear for raw consumption, but oh, unlike the other pears around here, it's also quite common for jams and other preserves. <clears throat> yeah, with pears, there are, I think even more than with apples, with pears, we have varieties for preserves, and uh, in especially in places like Germany and France, we also have a lot of cider pear varieties and this is a variety which can be eaten raw but it's also used a lot for preserves. Here the pear forelle, forelle in German means trout and it said that the name comes from the fact that the skin looks a little bit like the skin of a trout. However those things here were not sold as forelle but as forelle alessia. Well, the Forelle pear is an autumn pear, so now would be pretty much, yeah, still a little bit early for the German harvest, but those were from Italy, by the way, all those three were from the same box. There were a couple of pears with this quite unusual shape, which is more closely to conference. I don't know if it's just a freak hybrid with some other variety, which was overlooked, or why a couple pears have a different shape, but all those three are from the same box and should be the same variety. Well, like Forelle, yeah, it's a little bit early for Forelle in Germany, but since those come from Italy, I guess it's quite uh, okay. The time for them is quite okay. The Per Alessia is a modern variety from Bavaria, which actually is quite late. It's a winter pear. Basically, you harvest it in October and you can sell it until January. So I wonder, well, this Forelle Alesia seems to have a lot more in common with the Forelle parent than with the Alesia parent. Also, Alesia is supposed to be a lot more red than those pears here. Yeah, quite interesting pears, especially since they really represent the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the classic, uh, how shall I say, yeah, they are, they are quite typical for the different countries, like the 
the conference which can grow in cold and wet climate, the Italian summer pear, very early, and summer fruit are usually not very durable, so used for preserves, and then the typical German Alessia pear, by the way. Uh, the German Forelle Alessia, by the way, this Forelle. In Germany, it can be grown mostly at really fertile, sunny, uh, open spaces. So if the ground is infertile or not warm and sunny enough or not open enough, you get a lot of trouble. And so I guess it's quite logical that a lot of the cultivation has shifted to Italy. Now let's try them first. Let's try the half that remains of my conference pair. I bought only one and it, half of it disappeared. Mm hmm Well, yeah. yeah. It's a nice ripe pear. Sweet. Juicy. No complaints. Really good ripe pear. Can only recommend this if you manage to get such ripe fruit even in cold wet places like Britain, yeah. Definitely, all the power to you. Well, not to Britain, but to such good pears. <laughs> now let's try the Italian Costia. Less sweet. Less sweet. And also with the flavor, with this typical flavor of those summer pears. Don't know how to describe it. It's a different flavor. Usually find it, you find it in those small summer pears and not so much in the big autumn and winter pears. Now let's take the most ripe one of those for Alessia. Yeah, <laughs> late pears. Yeah, I can feel it. They're a lot less ripe than those two. Mmm, hot and crunchy, but very sweet and very aromatic too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could definitely last some more time in storage, definitely longer than those. Then the quite soft and quite ripe conference. I picked the ripest fruit in the in the box. Definitely also longer than the costia, which was harvested already in summer. Yeah, this Forella alesia can definitely last for many more weeks, but even now it's perfectly fine to eat. Yeah, two great pears. I don't know. I mean, the sweetest one was definitely the. The conference, yeah, this Forella Alesia was almost as sweet and I'm sure when it gets soft it will be about as sweet or even more sweet than this one. The Costia was a little bit, yeah, a little bit less sweet. I've had much sweeter summer pears. Not bad. If I had it alone I, I, I wouldn't complain at all but Com compared to those, it's a little bit less sweet. So yeah, I would say first place basically, uh, yeah, those two, the conference and the uh, Forelle Alesia. Second place, the Costia pear. So folks, those were three pear varieties, conference, Forelle Alesia and Costia. Three pear varieties, very typical for Britain, Germany and Italy. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful country of Germany where you get a lot of foreign pears. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.